the props we already seen about the props multiple times in the same session so the one of the example from the higher order component so whatever the component we are we are placing some variable name is equal to some value then it called prop property so that is a short form uh, props is a shorthand for the properties right so this is one of the property we are going to pass the particular wrapped component it may be a functional or class component so for example i mean i'm going to create a new component a uh, new dot js and uh, for the time being i'm just using a, a create functional component and named as new and here i want to show uh, the uses what are the u uh, part of the data we have uh, in the, in the other component kind of a reusable component this so for that uh, we need to receive the uh, some props from other thing so for that i'm using users and here i from the parent inside that i'm going to use the users dot map function and inside that we the user and the key of that and within that i am going to print uh the h4 tag the username user dot name so within the bracket so this is a reusable component for a uh, user list you can see and yeah. so this is a user list uh, what are the users we have all the user names will be available, will be printed by this one so i am calling this function from the functional component i remove everything and put this user list component calling the user list component from there to here and here we have the we are calling the user list component and in the initial value i put uh, i i put john no uh, johnny so like that so i i just uh, defining some default variables i want to send this user list to the particular user user list component then what you need to do we need to create we need to set one variable here and we need to send the value value like this right so uh, from the user list component they should get the value from this this variable uh, okay i put like this so user list so this is a variable uh, we need to use in the user list component so instead of instead of users we need to use user list in user list and here we have only normal array and for this we need to use use key let's key save it and go back to the app.js file here we have the functional component yes so now go to the browser and we can see john joe and johnny uh, in the element section you can see every everything will be printed in the h4 h4 tag for example if you want to define if you want to design the particular titles in a single place then you can can do style or uh, let's say color as uh, red so it it will affect everything right so if you want to if you want to keep on printing uh, more than uh, three uses then you can obviously keep going so the thing is you need to send the value uh, to the particular component through the props this is a prop uh, for this user list and this is the data for the prop so in the user list component you need to receive the props within the bracket and you need to uh, use map function to print the things so uh, with the help of map function we can able to print uh, one by one user up to the n number of uh, things for example if you want to print how much the user list uh, user list so this length Okay, users list. You can see the five users. These are those are the five users' name. So by this way, you can use a uh, reusable. Uh, you can use the uh, props. So in this component, this particular user list component doesn't have any state, doesn't have any operations, but it's just doing some simple work to printing. What are the things? What are the data received from the properties from the parent component? So uh, what is parent and child? so in the function component actually this is a parent function component is a parent and instead that we are calling user list so when back to the browser so go to the components 
so here we you can see the tree structure so app is a parent of all the things and currently we are in the function component inside that we are using the user list component when you click user list component in the right hand side you can see the props so what are the props available for this you can see the user list so this kind of this much of user list we have we don't want you can remove here as well then you can immediately see the result so that's a other uh, way uh, the sections will help uh, to improve the productivity uh, to see the real time uh, the development